previously on Flex and Shinies. This is the biggest mistake <laughs> I've ever you? made in my career. Can you shut the f Ruba went on a rampage. Cut, cut that off. Press the button and cut it off. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, I'm man? And move out of the house for good. I can't live here without Ruba. Oh, shut up. Look, seriously, I cannot be in this house. After my argument with Flex, I realized that this bird needs to leave the nest. And I flew as far as I possibly could until I realized, ain't nobody got time for rent. And though I love the finer things in life, I feel like I'm going to the one place that actually fits my fiscal situation. Uh-uh. What up, sweetie? What do you want? I gotta do what I gotta do. Don't judge me. The wizard is not giving out courage That's today. That's so she opened up the door. What up? What up, How Ruba? are you? Act like you're excited to I see me. I am excited. I'm just confused. You've never been here before. I know. Surprise. We have a swimming party. No shade, but when I want to have a sleepover, Ruba is not the man I have in mind. Well, welcome, I think. Can you please help me with those bags? What bags? Oh. Uh, okay. This is dope. Uh -oh. Look at the little better fish. Why you got bags? We're gonna have a slumber party. Well, come help me with your bag. No, 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 no. Your place needs an elevator. I'm not even kidding. That is. Uh, -uh you need to help. That's me. really cheap. You know what? It's I'm gonna not be even like coming to America out there. You're gonna see the whole neighborhood with your clothes on. You're so wrong for this. You got it. Freaking A. Oh, uh, my shoe. You're wrong. You're wrong for that. It's not funny. Open the door. Why are you lo- Oh, my God. Are you really gonna let me out? Seriously? Brooklyn. Please, I need There's no panel Open up the door and oh, you know. There is no room at the end tonight. Now that I think about it, this could be a lot of fun. This is definitely not hospitality. It's not funny. Oh, my God. out of the house it's a little more calm around here although i admit i do miss his helping hands with the chores because these hands are for massaging my wife's back not garbage bags hey dad yo what's going on buddy there is actually something going on oh yeah um in my school we we're doing like this video where we like show what's important to us and what can be like you know changed I want to do mine on bullying. I just want to share it to the kids in my class that bullying is not cool. Since, you know, you're in the acting biz, <laughs> I was wondering if you could help me out with it. If you could just help. Yeah, of course I'd help, man. Because I know it's important to you, and, and we could do it kind of like a PSA. As a parent, I support my kids with words, but it's more important to support them with action. So if there's anything that Elijah's doing positive, I'm in. Dad has got his back. So you know what you can help me with? Let me just pop that off for you. See that right there? Let's go ahead, give me that. Take I think that. I know what you're talking about. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here we go, grab a handle. There you go. These are called chores. I'd rather be on the Xbox right now. Oh, I'm sure you would. I'm proud of you. We did it. Teamwork. We, I'm we. proud of you. 
Can't believe you finished it all that quickly. My part on the album is done. I'm really proud of my vocals and my writing. And I realized I don't need a duet for this album to be great. Oh my gosh, do you think I could do like a sound check? I decided to sing Breakdown at my album release party because the hook is really catchy and I feel that it showcases the range of my voice. I miss waking up in the morning, cooking you your favorite meal, baby. You know what? The music is really loud in this. A lot of reverb. If, if you could bring me up and turn in this monitor, just turn the music down. Tell them to the reverb down too. But don't turn the music down out there, because I want the, the audience to really feel it out there. A little bit. I'm a hell of a breakdown. I'm a go crazy. I don't think this area is built for live performances. Singing live, there is no room for mistakes. I mean, I got one shot to nail this, and time is not on my side. I'm wondering if you know how much you really have to be on point for this. It's gonna be like executives in the music industry and tastemakers. I know me and the music already, but I don't know how the crowd's gonna respond. And that's what's making me more nervous than anything. You're good, right? You got it. You got the new look, the confidence. I can do it, I can do it. Hey guys, thank you for coming. Here are the scripts for the movie. Okay. Here's one. Wow. Here's one for you. Thank you, sir. And here's one for me. Okay. Impressive. So. This is like a pretty thick oh, script. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to cover. Uh-huh. And this victim is walking his dog, and then a bully, um, he, he gets mad at him for making the basketball team, pushes him down, and talks trash about him. My dad always tells me that the best stories come from real life. Bullying happens in my life, so I wrote this story to tell all the bullies out there to stop. Story sounds good. That, that Real good. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds really Pretty good. So how, how do you plan on, on getting this done? Oh, I need a drone, a crane, special effects. Okay, wow. Okay, Elijah, listen, listen. Okay, that's great. And wow. I'm glad that you are, like, gung-ho. But this is, this is not a Michael Bay film. This is your PSA for elementary school. So let's just bring it down a little bit. It's really hard to find a production team that shares your vision. Michael Bay, I know how you feel, bro. Can we at least have good catering? Man, what? Is that crooked? Is that your picture on my refrigerator? It's nice, right? It's very welcoming. You know, kitchen needs to be open and like warm, and that picture is legit. Oh my god, you're trying to kill my fish. First of all, you cannot lie. It definitely made the room pop. I'm just shocked. We're like roommates, so I'm Roommates? I thought you were coming to visit. For like a month? A month? I'm gonna need for you to air beat and see your way up out of my crib after about a week, or you gonna have to start paying me rent home for the way. <laughs> what? Me pay rent? Like, real talk, you're gonna have to do some serious upgrades to all the amenities in order for me to pay any type of rent. I need to take a shower because after all this moving, I'm feeling gross. All right. Same deal. Shower, here, I come, no kids. Hey! What the heck are all these panties doing in here? Hey, where you going now? Mike, I got things to do. You just got home, where you going? I have clients I'm trying to get in touch with. Imani's in the car. I have to take her to acting class. I'm trying to build an entertainment empire. You know, all these years I've been working as Shani's manager, I can't let all that go to waste. Well, you don't need to. We already have Crystal Penny. I want more than that, Mike. 
What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I got stuff to do. Even Fiji, look at him. I don't have time for Fiji. Goodbye, Mike. I'll be back. And he's not alone. Shut up. I ain't got time for that. Let's do this. Yeah. For the past couple of weeks, I've been putting in a lot of work to find new talent for my management company. I found a girl named Kendall that I want to turn into a huge pop star. Like this chat. First off, we must let the situation rest. Okay, okay. Now, we're going to start it again. And really let me see that you're feeling it. Okay. Because you sound good, but I need to feel it. Okay. Social media will get you caught up every time. Watch what you've been posting. Let's do it again. Come on. I want to feel it. There you go. Mm. Getting too comfortable. <laughs> Come on. Have fun. Punch it. You are just a renegade. I don't want no just see my trust has been betrayed. Come on in. Okay. Oh, you got some, so, man. Yeah. I think I had some. She's good. I just wanted to loosen up a little bit. I think she will. Just, yeah, she, you know that's going to come from time. Yeah, it comes from time. You can have all the raw talent in the world, but it takes a lot of work to be a star. And I know how to work it. This is what I was born to do. What What is this song about, Kendall? It's about some a guy who cheated on me, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. So I need to feel your spirit. I'm not feeling it yet. Come on, stand up, stand up. Put it on again. The studio is where all the hard work begins. This is just how I got Shani started. I told you right from the start. Better. That I expect the best And Don't need to come think up. about it Just one minute off and you'll see One, Let two, see three First stop We must Let the situation rest You know, get raw with it <laughs> Cause when I tell my man something He listens One more time Two, Bounce now, bounce five. with it He's wrong Smile. Can you dance? No. <laughs> <laughs> one thing at a time. One she thing at a time. <laughs> Kendall is one of my first clients, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get her to the next level. Because what she doesn't know, she's a star. Woo! Oh, right. Good one. Break off the wine, y'all. I'm nervous. I feel a lot of pressure. I what? mean, I haven't released an album in like eight years. You know, I have all these amazing producers, Neo and Justice League and Needles and T-Pain. And if this fails, they may not want to work with me again. You and Molly were great together. And I don't think she's going to pull in all those people. And those people are going to believe in you for you to fail. You know this industry. It's mm -hmm. like you only give us so many chances. I really want to make sure this thing takes off. It's just scary. Like, I love your smile. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that to be a single. I didn't like I love your smile. And I co-wrote it. Right. But that was my biggest song. So it's like you just never know if the public's going to like it or not. So. But the thing is, you put your heart, your soul, you put everything into this. At the end of the day, you just got to go up there and be confident about what you're doing. And those songs are amazing. Thank I mean, you. for real. You always know how to make me feel better. No, no, I just, I, I'm telling you that for real. But just go do it. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Because yeah, when my album come out, I'm going to be bold about it. What? Off key for Jesus. That's it right there. You got my support. You know my first single is right? Make a joyful noise. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, you can, ready, I, can I sing background? You can be my praise dancer. <laughs> I'm a slam in the spirit. Yes.
How long are you gonna be in there? I need to use the bathroom. I'm trying my best to deal with Ruba's unexpected presence in my apartment, but things are getting out of hand. Look, can you blame me for actually wanting to look, smell, and, and feel my best? I, I truly feel as if the majority of the people actually care about that, and, you know, some don't. Ruba! Don't you better shampoo? I don't use a shampoo <laughs> that has sulfate. Whatever, get out. You know there's a drought, you're using up all the water. Do you know how high my water bill was last month? Water in LA is not cheap. That sounds like a freaking personal problem. Do you have any coconut conditioner? Oh no! Ruba, if you don't get out, I'm gonna pee in your pink shoe. Mm. Ruba! Do you have any clean towels? No, use toilet paper. I'm serious, this Ruba. This body wash is so cheap. I could move a lot faster if I would have the proper grooming products. Please don't frown. It gives you wrinkles. Oh, my God. I can't. You're so rude. Brooklyn? Really? Thank you guys for coming to our first table read. We will be going over our scripts today. Did you guys read it? Yeah, yeah, we read yeah. it. And um, uh, Mike and myself, yeah. we took the liberty of um, uh, doing some editing. Oh, heck no. So listen, we're going to break it down into acts. First act, kid walks dog. And he gets shoved to the ground by the bully. And then the bully walks off with the dog, and the victim is crying on the ground. What? That's the first act. Act two. The boy is walking his dog, and then he's scared when the bully comes up to him. And then the boy offers the bully to make the team. So this way, you show unity. But, Dad, where is the car chases, the explosions? Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, this is Due Tuesday, right? Okay, man. Well, I'm the executive and the head of this studio, and I made some cuts. Period. This is a good start, okay? We, we're going to work on the dialogue and everything, and then we'll get to casting of it, all right? Okay. I'm cool with you guys producing and editing, but I'm not sharing my writer's credit. What? Huh? Uncle Spirit, just the person I've been looking for. He has to help me. Ruba is driving me crazy. You let Ruba drive you crazy? What that made doing? you crazy then. He let somebody else drive you crazy. Well, guess what? He made me that way. I've been knowing Brooklyn for a long time, and I definitely wouldn't put that on Ruba. He's doing all kinds of crazy things. I didn't know Ruba was insane. Yes. Yes, he is. Is that surprising to you? Well, why you say he ran you crazy? Well, I'm gonna give you some examples. Here's one. First of all, he's been using up all my my sheen spray. Look at my braids. Feel them. They are dry. But I bet his is sparkling right now. Sheen spray was out in the '90s. Second of all, this is a big one. Do you know what happened to me yesterday when I stepped into the shower? Panty juice dripped on my head. Oh yeah. He washes his drawers out and hangs them o up over my shower. Doesn't everybody? They stay fresh longer. Now I know how Flex felt when I had on his vest. He had on my jacket yesterday. I can't help that. Fashion is a lifestyle. You know what? He's greedy, too. He drank up all my almond milk. We got cases of almond milk. That's because Ruba ain't here. Well, I miss Ruba. You can have Ruba back. If you're not satisfied with Ruba, dear, you might as well come. I mean, home. I love him, but I think I love him more from a distance. Just keep your peace, though. Because you came up to me with a lot of negative energy. All right, I'm going to keep my peace when you come and get that little raggedy, naughty head boy out of my house. Well, 
Why are you sitting there looking like that? Where have you been? You know where, where I've been. been. I told you where I was. I had to take care of business. Really? I just started this management company. I have clients all day long. <laughs> I'm trying to take care of business. What is wrong with you? Mr. Forgets, I know all about the studio life. When we were younger, we stayed in the studio day in and day out. Things have changed, Mike. They sure have. You're making it a big deal when this is work. I cannot believe this. You are tripping. Tripping? I've been sitting here waiting for you for hours. What well, you so tripping? what? I'm working. I'm working. You know I'm working. Yeah. I've been going all day. I can't even come in here and rest and relax. <laughs> Well, you Look know at what? Your face, you're tripping. You know yeah, you smell like happy hour. You know what? I don't even want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. I well, had one glass I, of wine. It's all good. I tell you what, I'm going to go find me a happy hour. Okay? I'm out of here. Go. And believe this, man. It's kind of crap. a.m. is a quiet time because they're busy being lazy and sleeping. But I'm not most people. Cool. All right, we're going to kill it. This right here is a get it done by 10 a.m. body. Let's get these abs right. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Stop, 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 man. My landlord lives downstairs. You're gonna get me put out. Well, you know, he needs to get up. Hey, no. bring it up, bring it up. Stop. Hey, uh, uh, you know what? what? You stop. need to get out. Stop making so much noise. You've already had your beauty rest, and clearly it hasn't worked, but it's okay. I think you. Stop stomping Come on the floor. It's a part of the routine. No. It's muscle confusion. You got to dance it. All right. Dance it. Come on. Your now. workout session is over. You right. Uh, 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 uh. You kid, rock. See what you want to say. Uh, uh, uh. Off of me. You ain't sad. Did I mention that it's trash day? You're crazy. <laughs> Why are you so strong, you creep? I've been working out. Stop. No. We got first. Yeah. I am so excited to start finding talent for my blockbuster. Uh, due to budgetary constraints, we'll be finding your talent around the block. Hey. Who called her in? I did. It's your sister. I'm here to audition. Looking like that. You ain't right for the part. Next. Wow, that's how you do your own sister? What are you here for? The diva. Did we put a diva in here? First it was my script. Now Papa and Dad can't even get the right talent through these doors. I have a film to cast people. Next. Good. I'm here for the artistic, man. I'm not just a spiritual guy. I'm a method actor. Here's Johnny. Ricky, no. Say what again? I'm sorry. I don't think you have a part for you. It's always a part for inner peace. This is why you always stay in the union. <gasps> Next. Hi. Hello. So, what's your name? Tyler. What's it to you? 
Perfect. Take a seat, please. Yeah, thank you. Did you, did you see that? Man. I mean, he's got I'm really excited to be helping Elijah with this bully project. Because you know what? Sometimes it feels like I'm married to one. It was like he channeled, he channeled his inner Wesley Snipes. Damn. Yeah. Ruba, is this you or is this your machine? Ruba? What? Hey, hey, Shanice. Oh, you mean the girl that like goes around like smacking people? Oh, that girl? Come on, Ruba. We miss you around here. That's sweet. Where are you? Don't worry about it. Look, I'm just having a good time. You know, my album release party's coming up in. I wanted to know, are you going to come, and can you still host the carpet? I think you weren't just, like, checking up on me. I knew there was, like, a catch. No, it's, of course I'm checking up on you because I love you and I miss you. But oh, at the same that, time, what, it, just so happened to, it just so happened to be right around my, my album <laughs> release party. <laughs> oh, wow, the timing is impeccable. Can you do it? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Say, I'm sorry, Prince of Hosting. You are absolutely amazing, and your eyebrows slay the game. I'm sorry, Prince of Hosting. You are absolutely amazing, and your eyebrows slay the game. I love you. No Oh, yay. I trained you so well. Yes, you did. Okay, watch out for my eyebrows. Yay. Thank you. I love you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I miss you, Ruby. I can't wait to see you. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, blue, okay I'll see you at the party. Hey, right. bye. Yes. Mike? What's up, man? What's up, man? Well, uh, Crystal, man, we bumped heads and... No, I feel like, you know, she didn't threw me on the bench or something, man. You know what I mean? I'm like, what is going on? Oh, man. Michael and I got into this big argument. I mean, big. Really? Yes. He didn't hear us? No. Child, it was a mess. Really? Yeah. Why? Man, Crystal, with this management thing, man, it's a little bit overboard. She's trying to reach out to different kids to manage now, and I'm thinking, what, what are you doing? Right. I just love working with kids. That's just my thing, you know? Yeah. Singing and just being active for right. the music world. You yeah. know, that's just me. That's right. who I am. Well, he should understand that, shoot. You know, I'm, hey, supportive of my wife doing stuff, but yeah. I've seen it before, and uh, I know the, the, the stress level of it all. Right. And, uh, right. I know. I'm just feel a little bit ignored, you know? It's almost like another full-time job. Yeah, man, that's the problem. I, I'm on the back burner right now. I get what he's saying and I get what you're saying because in a marriage, you know it's work. We've been together forever. I have things to do. I ain't got time to be sitting around, sitting up under him every two seconds. Right. I think she's just so caught in it that she's not thinking and you may just have to give it another try. I, I haven't even really talked to him in a little bit, man. I don't know if I want to go back down this road again, though, man. That's the problem. This is what he wants. This is what he's gonna get. Matter of fact, this is what he ain't gonna get. You need to come home. You come back to the house? You really need to come I'm home. Where I'm clearly not wanted? Yes, you are. What's up, guys? It is Ruba here on the red carpet at my girl Shanice's album listening party. I have not seen my family in a while, so this may be a little weird. Come on, Shanice. read the script, but I'm going to tell you anyways. You're going to be walking Fiji, mm -hmm. and you're going to come up, you know, you flinch, and you take Fiji, and then you get pushed to the ground, and you start crying. Okay. All right? 
move over, Spike Lee. Elijah's coming through. He walks off with him, and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, can I ask you this? Team. So, so maybe he's not walking Fiji. Maybe he's just standing here, you know, kind of just uh, seeing if Fiji's going to use the bathroom. OK, could you do that? Yeah, uh, okay. you're making Fiji use the bathroom. <laughs> he's OK. Like, hey. All right. <laughs> hey. Got gotcha. you. Cool. And Elijah. You know what I'm saying? Like, really excited. All right. And don't right. forget to say cut. Okay. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, and action. So I heard you made the basketball team. Yeah, isn't that great? Well, guess what? You're not all that. <laughs> in the first scene, I want to show what bullying looks like. And in the second scene, I want to show how to handle that type of situation. All right, guys, three, two, one, action. What's up? Oh, um, I talked to the basketball coach, and tryouts are in a few months. If you want to try out, I'll help you practice. R really? You do that for me? Yeah, sure, no problem. We're friends. All right. Bullying is not cool. It's better to be friends than be a bully. One more time. Like, bullying is not cool. It's better to be friends than to be bullies. Bullying is not cool. It's better to be friends than bullies. Elijah, what's your next project gonna be? I have my people call your people. He's just talking about his mama. Hi! <laughs> Good job, man. Glory, hallelujah, the cavalry is here. Come on in. Where is he? Rubo! Oh, my God. Rubo! Really, you guys? Seriously? Yes. Nice. The universe is on my side, but you will always use backup. You need to come home. Oh, my God. You I need to I'm come home. I'm that they beautiful. A sort of kind of good time here. You'd rather stay here? I sure would. You want him here, Brooklyn? Um, Brooklyn loves having me here. I... Tell them, please tell them that you love having me as your roommate. Please don't, uh... don't look like that. Love, well, that's kind of a strong word, and my mother told me I should only use that in, like, special occasions. No, that's hate. No, you, you're not now, supposed hey, to say that. That's a more fitting word for this situation. I'll talk to uh, to Vlad, and he said he wanted me no, to come I back. No, I talked to Brooklyn the other day, and uh, um, Uncle Spiro, you ain't gotta be putting people on blast and stuff like that. But I'd rather drink muddy water and sleep in a hollow log, okay, and keep my peace to stay in this house. Wait, what? In other words, you need to leave. Leave this place? Okay. You and come need, back to the house? You really need where to come I'm home. clearly not wanted? Yes, you are. Imani misses you. Okay, I'm sure. Shanice needs you home. Fiji yeah, needs fine. groomed. The car needs washed. What about... Wait, did we... Okay, I'm the done. The car was dirty. Did you just was say dirty. you car always needs... help her wash her car, Ruba? That's Ruba. And that's exactly why I'm not coming Ruba. back. Everything you're saying is a cure. We miss you, for real. Uh -huh. And I miss seeing you over Well, there. we do. So what are you going to do? You like staying in with Brooklyn? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't. Well, it doesn't you seem so, like you really... You are so wrong. You're wrong. I you're just so want to reunite you with your family. Right, I Abraham? I don't have time for all this. I really don't. For real, I don't... I'm cool. Maybe but let me think about it. For me. I didn't come I, all the way over here for nothing. Well, I'm sorry. I can feel that this is not what you expected it to be. Sure, it's no pillow fights and ice cream sundaes, but it is one place where I'm actually respected and not treated like a child. Just personally, I'm not okay with going back to the house. I'm not okay with that right now. Let me Ruba. breathe on it. You're always welcome to come back home. I just want you to know that. You think about it. Okay.
but here on the red carpet at my girl Shanice's album listening party, it's going to be ridiculous. You guys aren't ready, and I have not seen my family in a while, so this may be a little weird. Tea. I do. Dee Dee you guys are in my face. The source of my life right now. Look, Mike, cut the hair. This is my favorite look ever. Aww, <laughs> you look beautiful. After months of agonizing over everything from my hair to what I'm gonna look like, the music I'm gonna sing, I'm so grateful that the moment of truth is finally here. It's time for me to showcase my new sound and I am so looking forward to this. Thank you, Molly, for making this all happen. You're welcome. I appreciate you and you know that I tell you over and over again. I love you too. Ah, I love you too. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I'm nervous. Why? I'm, you know me. I get so you get nervous. nervous. Ah! Every stage singer always does that. My stomach is like turning. <laughs> that means you're going to hit those notes, the mini Ripperton notes. I know Molly's talent on me to kill it because she's put so much into this. I just hope my nerves don't get the best of me. Yeah, just have fun. That's all. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, love you. I love you too. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Asia, Monet, what up, boo? Good. How are you? Great. You're good? You kind of kill the game. It's scary. <laughs> She's like, homie, oh, <laughs> you know. My face has a glow. Yes, it does. Hey. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Mwah. Mwah. Good to see you. Well, is it good to see you? You look like you look like you're on the little micro now. We just, I don't know what's going to happen. We just came in separate cars and... Separate cars? She is so mad. I don't know what to do. I'm so proud of Nisi, and I know this is her big day. But I can't stop thinking of the argument that Michael and I had. That I just need a shoulder to growl. I feel so bad. I have to do something to make it better. He'll get used to the to you being busy. And... I really don't know, but anyway. I hate seeing you like this. Where is the third member of Crystal Pen? I don't want to talk about that right now. Oh, yeah. I said, I'm you sorry. coming over here to apologize? I said, I'm sorry. But you didn't apologize for everything that you did. All of a sudden, Mike has this Kanye West size ego. Seriously, the coolest thing in the world. I'm here at my cousin's album listening party, and I'm like crashing and, you know, embarrassing all of my family members. Tamichi, come on in. Hey, 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 hey. This is my mom. I'm mom. Crystal Penny, how are you guys? Hello, baby. Hi. How you doing? Hi. It's so good to see you guys. Where's the third member of Crystal Penny? Tell me. I don't want to talk about that right now. I am family. Yeah, I know. These are your friends. <laughs> don't look at me. I can't talk about it right now. Okay, well, you guys <laughs> keep killing the game and Thank enjoy the party. You. Look at this. OMG, legendary Soul Train dancer. That's what's up. One of the members of Crystal Penny, what's up? Simon. Why are you alone? Please go me in. Well, okay. I don't know why I'm not with Crystal right now. Okay. But it's personal. But why are you being so aggressive uh, with because me? Because that's the way I'm feeling right now, you know? <laughs> Family Feud. OMG, the man of the hour, Uncle Spirit. What up? I bring peace. Oh, God. To the red carpet. Oh, really? And I'm waiting for you to come home. Oh, that's sweet. Peace out. That's it? That's it. Okay, a man of very few words, Uncle Spirit. Honestly, you never know what is going to happen right here on this red carpet. It's a good time, especially when family's involved. <laughs> Wow. 
told you. Yeah, you did. How are you? Uh, I'm surviving. I just was looking for you because I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. And what are you sorry for? For being so busy and not thinking of you and just taking the whole marriage for granted. And? And putting everything I was doing before you. And? Why are you acting like that? I'm yeah. apologizing. I'm telling you that well, I'm sorry. Yeah. You still have an attitude. What do you want me to do? Attitude? Aren't you? I said I'm you sorry. Coming over here to I said I'm sorry. But you didn't apologize for everything that you did. All of a sudden, Mike has this Kanye West size ego. He wants me to beg for his forgiveness. He can forget about that. You know what? I'm not telling you anything. If you want to stay with that attitude, you've got it. Continue sleeping, Uncle. Uh, wait, you, Uncle wait, 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 wait. You shit. came back here. No, I'm, I'm out of here. Really, Crystal? That's the sorriest excuse for an apology I've ever heard. It is me, Ruba, coming to you live from Los Angeles. I'm here at my girl Shanice's album listening party. You guys are not ready. This album is going to be ridiculous. And here she comes. Come on, boy. What up? What up? How's it me? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Shanice, new album. What the yes. fudge? I'm super excited for everyone to hear it. It's going to be ridiculous. Fill us in. I'm excited about this new album. Molly Hunter helped me executive produce it. And nice. I have T-Pain and, and Neo Shut and the up. Justice League and Needles. I'm sorry. Say no more. First of all, please look at this. Booty. Jesus, take the wheel. All right. Kill the game. She's, she's, she's not playing around. I love you so much. You're I not ready. You I miss you. I miss you more. Hello. Oh. Flex, can I, like, talk to you for a minute? There comes a time in every man's life where he hosts his cousin's Rick Harvard event and realizes that he misses his family. Look, I am willing to put this argument that I had with Flex behind me as long as he is. I personally want to talk to all of my viewers and apologize to you in front of everybody. Um, everyone makes mistakes, and everyone has their moments and things of that nature, and I personally just wanted to apologize to you. And I, listen, listen, let me tell you something. I didn't. We love you, and you know, you're a great kid, and that's all you know. We love you, and it's all good. All right? We hug you. Yeah, you know, we don't hug much, so. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. You guys heard it first. There you go. Thanks, yo. You have it. I didn't say I was coming home, but it feels really good to be the bigger person and admit when you're wrong. All right, you guys, the jig is up for me here on the red carpet. Shiny listening party. <laughs> See you guys. Come on, Shanice. It's been eight years since my last album was released. Oh, my God. A lot of pressure. Hello to all you beautiful people, family members, and friends of Shanice. I have the pleasure to announce that Shanice has finally finished her record. I want to thank you all for being there for her because I know you've missed her, some of you family members and friends. So, um, without further ado, come on, Shanice. You ready? I want to say thank you to Molly Hunter. She executive produced my project and 
she put this whole thing together. So thank you, Molly. So I'm going to sing a song and uh, hope you enjoy it. It's a song that I co-wrote. This is my moment. It's been eight years since my last album was released, and I am so excited to show my friends and family what I've been working on over the past year. Skyping you every moment just so I can see your face. Oh, I swear it's so frustrating. Makes me want you right away. As long as I have my family, my friends, and my fans, there's nothing I can't accomplish. You know how I feel when you're not around. 